Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You cannot be a victor of your future if you are held captive by your past. Where do you want to be? Do you want to be a victor? You want to be a victim. You get to control that. Nobody controls that for you. I feel rejuvenated. Um, as a leader, you know, you always need to get your batteries recharged. If you're going to follow someone, you're going to follow someone because they have been authentic, because they have been transparent, because you align with them somehow. You connect somehow with them in what you're doing. Dr. Troy brings a level of energy, um, a level of compassion that other presenters may not genuinely have. Everything you do is about people. It is never about the task. I care about them. I care about the goals that they have. If you approach leadership as though it is here and they are there, then your leadership is never going to give you the true opportunity for you to be engaged in that process. Transformational leaders are more concerned with the development of the follower than they are of them being in charge. Dr. Hall can take one concept and make it perfectly clear to someone who's never even heard of it before, but at the same time have a seasoned professor kind of go, hmm. The main goal in presenting my talks or my presentations or my workshops is to connect with the person to really help them be able to expand beyond where they are today. But can you lead from a perspective of transition? Can you lead from a perspective of transformation that actually requires you to think more about where you're going and who you're impacting than who you are?